For years, it's been recommended from high school gym classes to sports practice, they need to practice traditional stretching before exercise as a way to warm up the muscles to prepare them for work. However, utilizing this bad habit before resistance exercise is likely causing you more harm than good. I'm Dr. David Gunderman of Blue Star Nutraceuticals. Welcome to the Rad Lab. There are two types of stretching you can perform, and doing the wrong one at the wrong time may actually leave you weaker and more prone to injury. The two types of stretching are static stretching and dynamic stretching. Static stretching is when you stop and hold the stretch for the purpose of lengthening your muscles for a greater range of motion in the long term. This is indispensable practice for after exercise, but completely ill-advised prior to exercise. When you hold the stretch for any period of time, you begin to separate the contractile components of that muscle outside your optimal range. It's this very stimulus that causes your muscles to lengthen in the long term. But at that moment, your muscle is being put at a disadvantage to develop any power or speed, and weaker muscles contribute to greater injury. The second reason to avoid performing static stretches before resistance exercise training is that strong muscle contractions after static stretching will undo any potential benefit from the stretch in the first place. So, keep your static stretching for after your workout is complete. After your exercise, be sure to hold static stretches of your working muscle for at least 30 seconds and up to two minutes to allow for muscles to grow in a lengthened position. This is critical for growing healthy muscle. Dynamic stretching is what you want to perform prior to exercise. This type of stretching does not include any stopping or holding positions. Instead, use very little to no resistance to move through a complete range of motion around the particular joint. This type of stretching is a great way to warm up muscles, tendons, and joints to prepare them for ensuing exercise. The dynamic moving creates some heat to allow the muscles to become less stiff and less prone for strains. Furthermore, as the joint is moving, cells in your joint called synovial cells will release a lubricant called synovial fluid that allows the joint to move freer with less friction and less pain. Without getting too fancy, physical rehearsal can be used as a decent way to warm up your muscles prior to exercise. For example, if you want to warm up your chest before a bench press, performing a couple slow, controlled, lightweight sets will engage all the required muscles, joints, ligaments, and tendons to prepare for the workout. This is the bare minimum. However, if you're about to exhibit maximal power outcome, it's advisable to perform a more in-depth dynamic stretch routine like this. If you have some extra equipment at your disposal, such as bands or bars or poles, they can assist with some dynamic stretching routines. Going through an in-depth dynamic stretching routine like that will ensure maximum performance output for any chest, back, shoulder exercise, while also preserving the joint for your future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button for more validated research and real scientific answers to sports nutrition and exercise science, just hit subscribe and find out everything you want to know but are afraid to ask.